Hey GED students, it's GED question of the day time again and um, we're building on the skill that we did last time of least common multiple. But look at this problem, it got a little trickier. Now I'm finding the least common multiple of 3, 5, and 10. Uh, but don't worry, even though this problem does look a little more complex, it's actually simpler, uh, pretty simple, at least as simple as the last one we did. Uh, just because of the nature of the numbers that they gave me. But I will remind you that the least common multiple, or the LCM, is the first multiple that numbers share. So multiple, numbers on, on another number's times tables. So I'm basically looking for the first time 3, 5, and 10 have the same number on their times tables. And it would have to be on all three of their times tables. Okay, so it's the first time that the times tables all run into each other. And just like with all divisibility skills, I'm talking whole number times tables, like don't tell me, you know, three times six and a half. I don't, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like three times one, three times two, how you memorized it, and when you were counting by threes back in the day. So I have to tell you the truth. I don't need to count by fives and tens, and I don't think you do either. I don't think there's any reason to write down my five or ten times tables, because I think you guys know you guys is fives and ten times tables. You know what something looks like if it's on the five and time, ten times tables. Um, you know, they all the ten times tables end in zero. All the five times tables end in zero or five. So I'm just gonna work with my threes until I encounter something that looks suspicious. Uh, suspiciously like it might be on the fives or the tens. So three, six, nine, and even if you don't know your times tables, you can just count up by threes. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now 15 looks exciting for me because I know that 15 is on the five times tables. But shoot, it's not on the 10 times table, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, 18, uh, 16, 17, 18, sorry. 19, 20, 21. Of course, the next one would be 22, 23, 24. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, am I never going to get there? Oh, you're going to get there really soon. Uh, because here I come to 30. 30 ends in a zero. Of course, it's on the 10 times tables. 10, 20, 30. Of course, it's on the 5 times tables. You know, if we kept counting by fives, we would come up to 32. So we see that lovely number, that LCM, that would appear on all three times tables, and it's the first number they all share. And so it is the least common multiple. Um, I'm going to write my answer in a complete math sentence because I love to get you guys used to the way we denote things in math. So the LCM of 3, 5, and 10 is 30. But just to let you know, if you did have this on the DED, you'd probably just have to select the answer 30, not write it in a complete math sentence. But there you go. Um, the answer here is 30. If you have any questions about this or any other uh, math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it.